Dear friends of PowerShots TV, positive energy in Europe. Today it's my great pleasure to welcome the Director General for the Publication Office for the European Union, Rudolf Strohmeyer. Welcome. welcome. So, please explain us first what I do. Well, uh, the Publication Office, being an interinstitutional body, uh, has its main task to publish the content all the institutions, the agencies, and the EU bodies produce. Mm -hmm. uh, that means we have to produce uh, legal text, the official journal is our oldest product, uh, research results, we publish all the tenders which Europe-wide have to be published at EU level because they have a certain uh, level uh, of, of, of amount. So our portfolio is, is rather complex mm -hmm. and we help also the institutions to adapt easily to the changes which we face uh, going from paper to, to digital. Yeah, yeah you're, you're a very old body, can we, how can we say, all the institution. So what changed with it then from the last years? Well, the main change is indeed uh, the, the change from paper to uh, digital and here we see, uh, let's say, other changes uh, more and more uh, visible. The first change to digital was uh, online yeah. and now we face a situation that particularly if I look to the generation of my kids, everything has to be offline mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, requires quite uh, important works to be done in producing content mm -hmm. because we call this granularity, the content has to be adapted to its use offline and on devices, to give you one concrete example, a content, a text must itself adapt to the size of the screen of the mobile device. Otherwise, it's useless. Yeah, that's the biggest problem, yeah. And uh, yes, in all this information, it's a political information, but for us citizens now, where are our interests? What can we find uh, as information? Well, uh, the easy answer would be to say uh, you can find uh, more or less everything. <laughs> The issue is that by providing this content to the public, we increase, of course, transparency per se, what the institutions are doing. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, uh, we uh, also try in helping the institutions to adapt to this uh, digital age to make the access to the information easier. Of, of course, we, we still uh, publish uh, books uh, yeah. and, and people, citizens, can ask them, they have nothing to pay, but this is not a business model any longer. The business model is how to make content easily accessible for citizens on their mobile devices mm -hmm. and this is technically sometimes a challenge, uh, also for the producer of the content. Yeah. It's new, yes, and, and uh, it needs also to be understood in all the institutions that they, for example, have to follow certain formats all together. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it will not be uh, easy to make links between the uh, content of the one institution which relates to the content of another yeah. institution. They're all, they're all different, yes. They are, well, I wouldn't say they are all different, all but yeah. uh, if you talk about the, the possibilities for the citizen to make the best use of it, mm -hmm. you should have easy access to all yeah. what is also linked, In because uh, if you prepare a legislation, you do studies, well, the citizen must also have the chance to get hold of these studies, mm -hmm. to understand why certain uh, uh, legislation has been proposed and adopted. Yeah. And maybe also the last question to, not to the Director General, to Rudolf, I know that you work already over 30 years, very enthusiastic for Europe, so just explain it. What gives you this energy and what still you want to arrive? You, you are so already so far and you are still... Uh... Well, to be quite frank with you, uh, my, my overall objective is, as my father was a handicap of World War II, I want to avoid and to continue that this kind of situation doesn't repeat in Europe. That my kids and uh, the core of my kids mm -hmm. can have a better life than she generation of my parents has had uh, and I think this is something what 
is not only the, the classic question about war and peace, it is also, let's say, to profit from this richness we have at the European continent, but we, may, we need to make it accessible also to our uh, young people, because uh, this is also a way that Europe, with its values, can survive in a globalized world. Well, I thank you very much for your time, Director General. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks everybody outside for listening. Yes, there's a lot of information. To understand better Europe, all goes on smartphones. Thank you very much. Stay positive. Bye-bye.